praise the Lord, it's God calling. And the reason why I praise the Lord is because I don't feel like it. <laughs> I really don't feel like it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to exercise the number one virtue that men have. We're whiners. <laughs> I really don't feel like it. Now I uh, have my handy dandy uh, crutch out, my cane. I uh, don't know why for sure, but my back is out and maybe it's age. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? I don't care. I don't pay that close attention. If I die of something, praise the Lord. If I live, oh well. Got to put up with me. But it does present challenges and sometimes I hate it when God is using me as an object lesson for whatever reason he is, but I just respect the fact that somehow he's working out right now my inability to run, much less walk very well, and uh, the pain from my back to bring me to just accepting that he wants me to rest or, oh, be still because it didn't get better, it got worse. Oh well. <laughs> so in hearing what God has to say, we look at our devotionals and evotionals as though it were God speaking because it is. <laughs> I don't know about you, but for me, it's God speaking. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Let's get that one clear. I'm not reading, I'm listening when I read. Uh, so, in God Calling, go forward fearlessly. Your Red Sea. Do not think about the Red Sea that lies ahead. Be sure that when you come to it, the waters will part and you will pass over to your promised land of freedom. You know, a lot of people, they uh, want to win the lottery. <laughs> Jeez. They want to, uh, I don't know, go on these Christian cruises or see some concert or do some ministerial thing, you know, and maybe, I don't know, accomplish some mega church or in a positive way see thousands of souls saved. But you know, when you reduce me down to my pain and my suffering days that I go through, when my time is no longer one of dancing or working, you know, or bobbing and weaving when God's wanting me to do something, you know, and hiding and trying to duck and cover from whatever it is that he's trying to tell me, then when God finally gets me down to where I just can't move, then it's like, Lord, I didn't want to go home. <laughs> Can we go home yet? <laughs> uh, but isn't that like the same for you? Or do you have things that are holding you back that you say, oh, I want to see my children raised. I want to see my grandchildren. I want to see, and you add and fill in the rest. You know what I see? I see the world coming to an end. I see things not getting any better. I see us running in a direction that all the governments of the world seem to be going forward and that they cannot stop themselves and they do not know how to pull back from what they've already begun to slide into. And so, what I see is Jesus coming soon. Sooner than you think. And sadly, I don't see people getting ready. And I pray they do. Because as much as we prepare for schooling, for children when they're being grown, when we have babies and raise up children, as much as we prepare for the day by getting dressed, as much as I hope we pre prepare for our day by seeking the Lord and asking what he would do. I don't think we prepare for death. And I don't think we prepare for eternal life as much as we should. Because you will die. I'm the wrong one to look forward to, look to for comfort. I think, cool! <laughs> I'm going to die! Yeah! Alright! We go to die! <laughs> and uh, I you know, 
am thrilled because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord and trading this old sack of flesh for you know spiritual body sounds like yes a great deal to me so I'm looking forward to you know turning in this model for a new one I don't know about you but I think we ought to in our day go forward through our Red Seas when it looks like we're surrounded and the enemy abounds all about us and there seems to be the only way is destruction and yet when we look again God will make a way where there seems to be no way so if your Red Sea is death cross over on dry land if your Red Sea is homelessness disease pain and suffering ouch or any other of the ramifications of living in this world could be and the Lord's speaking to us both today and simply saying go forward it'll be all right and you know what he's right it will be all right